Hey guys, what's up? This is Chibu Mr. here and today we have a great unboxing of the new 2.4 GHz Mac Mini. So, uh, let's take a look in the box and then we'll discuss the specs. This is a Mac Mini that I bought for my father's office and uh, this is one of the greatest machines that I found in right budget and uh, right performance. So guys, this is uh, the 2010 device edition Mac Mini, the 2.4 GHz Core to Duo processor, and 320 GB of hard disk drive and 2 GB of DDR3 RAM. So let's take a look at the specifications here. Uh, let me zoom in so you can see that. As you can see in here, we have a 2.4 GHz Intel Core to Duo processor with a 3 MB shared Ultra cache and the 2 GB of DDR3 SD RAM which supports up to 8 GB that I'm going to be upgrading in the near future. And also 320 GB serial 88, that is a SATA hard disk drive and an 8x slot loading super drive, there's a DVD writer and all that stuff and an NVIDIA GE4320F graphics inbuilt into this. And uh, this uh, now has quite a connectivity options like the, we have a HDMI port right built into it and we also have the power uh, adapter right built into the design itself so we don't have a power brick with it so you know it's kind of less bulky to carry around and uh, let's get it out of the box as you can see at the back we have all the you know ports and all that stuff in the side we have the Apple logo at the front we have the photo of the Mac Mini itself and this is uh, much slimmer than the original Mac Mini that used to come. So let's slide it out of the box. It's harder than you think. So guys, this is the Mac Mini itself, a pure aluminium unibody Mac Mini. And we have a tab here which you can lift off. And this is the Mac Mini itself. As you can see, this is quite thin. And at the back, we have all the ports like the power port, we have the Gigabyte Ethernet, we have the Firewire 800, we have the HDMI, we have mini display port and 4 USB port which are downgrade for the Fi from the original model. And we have an audio in, mic in, mic and uh, a mic out and we have the SD card slot loading right here. You also have the super drive right here and as you can see we have the orientation points right here. So let's get it out of the pack. At the front you can see this is a black colored Apple logo as seen on the MacBooks and also the iPad now as you may be knowing. And we at the back we have a great design of Mac Mini. Now this is a unibody aluminum. This is a part made of plastic so uh, as you can see on the top we have these orientation points which uh, make sure that uh, you know it's aligned up in the right manner. We can just uh, press it firmly and slide it up in this direction with, uh, where another point is shown and uh, well this is out and here we have the RAM so if we lift it up uh, we can change the RAM and this is the airport symbol so I'm assuming that this is a wireless you know wireless networking something kind of stuff and this is a you know this is a, a fan this is a, a heat sink kind of thing that uh, ventilates right out to the port so this is kinda cool and uh, let me get this up again and move on digging into the box. Moving ahead, moving on to the box, here we have the power cable. As you can see here, we don't have any kind of power brick attached, so it is right built into it, the Mac Mini. And here we have the mini display, uh, here we have the HDMI to DVI cable uh, included. And I also bought a, a mini display to VGA adapter as my, uh, you know, monitor supports VGA. Here we have the everything Mac so this is the manual for Mac mini and uh, everything else. So uh, this contains the restore discs for the Mac mini and uh, this is uh, I guess all in the box. So guys I'm gonna be setting up the Mac mini and I'll catch you guys in a sec. So let's turn the mini on for the first time. And let's see if we get the logo or the thing is dead. Let us check it out. 
And we have the logo. Hooray! Let's start it off to 16 is to 9 ratio. And uh, let me adjust the camera into it. Alright, guys. It's getting ready for the first boot up of the new Mac Mini. And it's telling me to turn on the keyboard. So I'm first going to be turning on the mouse itself. And then I'm going to be turning on the Apple wireless keyboard. So it's getting the mouse and keyboard ready. And yes guys, the mouse is working and the keyboard uh, too must be working up. So we are going to be selecting English for the first language and get ready to let the dance out. Thank <laughs> you. 